What is really important for being innovative is you have to be able to put aside what other people think of both you and your ideas, and you have to go ahead. I mean, the, one of the most important traits I think innovators have is determined optimism. They are convinced that they're right, and they're going to prove it at uh, all expense. My name is Leroy Hood. My nickname is Lee. My profession is biology and medicine, and I've had a career in which I've developed lots of new technologies that have transformed biology. We invented the automated DNA sequencer that made it possible. Uh, and it was there, going out into the community in the mid and late 80s, I realized how conservative scientists were, because 80 or 90 percent of the people were against the Genome Project, and they were against it for very shallow, trivial, dogmatic grounds. Big science is bad science. The genome is mostly junk, you'll never learn anything. All these arguments turned out to be totally wrong, but you couldn't convince people because people take what you say and translate it into what they'd like to believe. We are here to celebrate the completion of the first survey of the entire human genome. Without a doubt, this is the most important, most wondrous map ever produced by humankind. I think you have to have a determinism, and, and you can't be bothered by criticism and skepticism. I think the block isn't at the level of innovation, it's at the level of receptiveness of the establishment and the physicians to change. So when you come up with radical new ideas that require not only the transformation of how you think about things, but, but altering in fundamental ways how you practice medicine, that's threatening to most uh, physicians. I think with the new kind of medicine, systems medicine that we're pushing, I think healthcare can be improved. I think the cost can come down very significantly. And I think we can really promote innovation and transformation of the whole culture if people are open to these new kinds of ideas.